Hey everybody, welcome back to another tips and tricks video for Insurgency. So today I'm going to go through showing you the process that I use to get rid of mods that I don't want to play anymore. Now, we all know how you're supposed to install mods. You can do it in one of two ways. One is to go via Mod.io and subscribe to any mods that take your fancy. Or two, which is a lot easier and a little bit slower, let's say, is to just jump onto a server and let it download the mods automatically to your PC. Now, what is the problem that you're going to run into after doing that for a, a couple of weeks of, uh, you know, slaying an insurgency? Let me show you the issue. Right, so here I am in Steam. And I'm going to go to Insurgency Sandstorm. I'm going to do a right click. Go to Properties. Go to, where was it? I'm going to go into General. I want to see all my my local files. So go Local Files. Go to Browse. Okay. So here we are. Looks pretty innocuous. Let's drill down a second. Oh, here's the Mods folder. How big is this? Just do a little click there. Yeah, 80 gigs. That is outrageously large. And the thing is, I don't even play half these mods. Clicking down. Look at that. That is absolutely ridiculous. So what I like to do at this point in time is I like to select everything and just delete it. So you can just get rid of them that way. It's really simple, really easy to do. However, what happens if you don't want to get rid of all of them? How do you know which is which? Because this, well... The whole mod IO system of handling mods is a bit of a fuster cluck, let's say. Let's drill down, see if we can see what the answer is. Um, can I see? Panzer. All right, that's given me an idea, but I'm not convinced. And there's millions of these. They never they never give you a straight answer. They my luck as I'm drilling down to show an example. Oh, all right, diplomacy. All right, that's not working out too well. But there, trust me, there's a ton of these that you'll look at them and go, I've no idea what this mod is anymore. And they're all just quite chunky and large. However, what happens if you want to keep a particular mod or, or a group of mods? How do you track it down simply? Let me show you what I do. You've got to bring up the mod IO page. I said you've got to bring up the mod IO page. All right, bring it over from my second screen. Okay. And... If you happen to know the name of the mod, this is quite handy. Do a search for it. So uh, let's say Redwood. I want to keep Redwood. Redwood Reborn. Put that in there. Okay. There it is. And here is the ID for it. So what is it? 773324. So I'd have to look for that and just scroll down. There it is. Okay. And I'd kind of put that apart in a different folder saying, yeah, I want to keep this. So this will be handy for like a subset of, of mods that you want to keep. Likewise, you can do a search on the uh, the ID as well. I think if I remember correctly, you just have to put it in here. And it will just come up for arguments. Say, let's put in this one here, which is what? 156146. Okay. Right. Let's see what this gives me. There you go. It gives me that, which is, why did I ever put, I don't think I ever downloaded that. I think that automatically got downloaded from a server I joined. So, hmm, all right. Yeah, I don't want it anymore. So you can search for them that way. And, you know, it's a bit of a long-winded process. However, you know, it's really up to you. I just find it's a lot easier just to delete everything. That is my top tip. But um, let's say you want to keep the one, one mod and we'll go back. Because this is how mod IO will work. And I'll bring up Operation Redwood just to show you again. Look, kind of spell Redwood. Put that in. Okay. If you delete everything and you're subscribed, it's going to just start downloading things again. So what you need to do is the following and just unsubscribe. But this is kind of a rare way to do things these days. Most of us will just sub from, well, we'll just get automatic downloads from any servers we join. But like I said, if you want to keep anything, you're going to have to do this kind of reverse reverse, reverse lookup. But anyway, that's basically how I manage my mods these days in Insurgency Sandstorm. And I hope you found this tip very handy and helpful. But anyway, guys, that's it for this time. I will see you in the next video. So until then, my friends, this is Hipkelt signing off.